So guys, welcome to your 18th 3ds Max tutorial, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over something called compound objects or compound materials, and this is the way how you apply, say you want to apply a bunch of different materials to one object, instead of only having one material and applying it to the object, that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do. So what I did already was I built this cube and I right clicked it and put convert to editable poly. And the reason I did that before this tutorial began is because when I right click my screen recorder messes up. So go ahead and make a basic cube and convert it to an editable poly. And then go ahead and you want to work in the polygon sub object mode. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to work with each of these faces individually and we need these faces for a specific reason so go ahead and do that and now select your first face I'm only going to be working with these three faces since that's uh, we can only see three at a time when you render so but you're gonna know what to do by the end so go ahead and select this first face and then scroll down until you get to polygon material ID what we're going to be doing in order to give this object different materials on each one of its faces we need to say, all right, 3ds Max, each of these faces are different from another, and we're going to um, identify each of them by setting an ID for each of them. So we're going to set this first one to ID 1. So go ahead and press 1 in your set ID and press Enter. Go to your second one and go ahead and press 2 and press Enter. And then go to your third one and then go ahead and press 3 and press Enter. Now each of these faces have their own ID one two and three so now let's deselect that or deselect the faces you can keep the cube selected if you want and go ahead and bring up M and what this does is bring up your material editor now unlike last time we're gonna be one working with a compound object this means um, more than one material on this object and the button to do this is the standard button right here this means we're working with a standard object right now and we're not so go ahead and click that and now we get this all of these compound objects are compound materials materials we can choose from we want multi sub object because that's what we did we took one object and we split it up into multiple or sub objects so double click that and discard the old material if this pops up and now we get all of this right here so by default it comes with 10 IDs but we only have three but actually our cube has six sides so go ahead and put set number and put six even though we're only going to be working with three put six because if we decide to go on uh, this cube has six sides now what we're going to want to do this ID number one remember that's this face right here so we're going to change this material from standard to another image so click material number 25 standard and now we get to choose our material for this we actually want to choose an image for this so click on maps then click diffuse color none and remember diffuse color is the main color or image click none and then we want to put a bitmap on this so click bitmap and let's just go um, autumn leaves right here so double click autumn leaves and as you can see our little preview now has autumn leaves on it so now let's go back to our, our parent and do that from the other IDs so go to parent go to parent and now we got ID autumn leaves you can see a little autumn leaf right there we want to change ID number two to an image as well so go ahead and click material 26 and this is going to give us a material for ID number two so go to maps since we want an image on it go to diffuse color for this bitmap and go to dock that's a different looking one so now go up go to parent go to parent and now you can see in our preview we have two different checkerboards um, when, and this represents the two different IDs so we're only going to do this one more time for the third ID so we got ID 1, that's the first face, ID 2, that's the second face. And you can apply this to any material that has six IDs on it or less. So this isn't only this specific. Any object that has IDs on it, you can apply this to. But let's do it one more time for ID number 3. 
go to material 27 since that's the material we're going to be changing go to maps diffuse color none bitmap and then pick like waterfall or garden this this one looks good you probably don't even have these images you can pick whatever images you want go ahead and open that then just go to parent make sure it took ID one two three are now converted into images so let's go ahead and apply this by dragging this on our object and now let's render it out and see what we got now as you can see instead of before where it only took one solid material you can apply different materials to different parts of this by just changing the ID number and then where it says alright what image do you want on this ID number you just pick an ID so thank you guys for watching that's it for this tutorial and again those things are called compound materials and it pretty much puts many different materials on um, same object and they have different compound types if uh, you clicked another one standard like blending blends two different uh, materials together and uh, double-sided puts two different sides of the faces on a material and they do uh, cool other stuff like that but for now I just want to introduce you uh, to compound materials we're probably getting it in more later but again like I said thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial